Hey, thanks for coming back and hanging out. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is Jake's Face Reacts. I'm Jake. This is my face. You're about to see it react. Um, continuing on. And because uh, I promised you I was going to get to every country at some point, And so I'm doing my best. Uh, this, as you can tell probably by the title. Where's the title? Don't up there, down there, don't know. Um, it. This is Serbia's entry for the 2018 Eurovision Song Contest. Um, it looks like the artist is Sanya Ilik and Balkan Bal wait, hold on. Balkanica Novadeka is the name of the song. Um and I can remember who Serbia sent last year. I'm really bad at remembering that kind of stuff. I'm so I'm sorry. Serbia. Oh, maybe it'll come to me. If not, let me know down there in the comments. Um, without further ado, though, let's go. Let's react to Serbia. Is also reminding me of a Cirque du Soleil show. Love the old man a little. My beard looks like that. Serbia. I, I mean, I really, I feel like I'm saying this about almost all of them, but it's true. Wow. That is exactly what I want from every country in Eurovision. I want them to bring something that represents their country. And, and I would almost rather songs 
not be in English for this exact reason. I, mean, I, I, I feel like, and I could be wrong here, but I feel like this song is was sort of speaking about, you know, the importance of love. And then I, I was able to make out like something about the, the, uh, the youth or the children of tomorrow is where our hope is, which seems to be like a running theme here. Um, I, 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 I'm still kind of blown away. Um, the, again, the ethnic vibes that were coming through, especially from the two female vocalists that w were amazingly using their voices as instruments, you know, like they use in their own cultural music in Serbia was breathtaking. I mean, that was... <laughs> I mean, I, I, it didn't even strike me as strange, you know, there was an old man uh, playing, what, what was that, a penny whistle? I'm not really sure. Uh, the bald guy, I loved his beard, I'm jealous, like, I want that beard. Um, he also had a strong voice, uh, and just uh, everything about that worked. And you know what, in a year when, you know, Portugal says that they're sort of, like, tr cutting back on... Um, the LEDs and the, you know, um, all the visual aids, that, without any of that stuff, stands out in a good way. Serbia, what semifinal are... Okay, you're in semifinal two. God, I really hope you qualify. I really hope you do, because I want to hear that in the grand final. I haven't heard anything yet that was quite like that um it was so unique so different so beautiful um so culturally rich um I, I, serbia thank you i just want to say thank you to you serbia because you are sending an act to eurovision that truly represents your culture and i, I mean you must be so proud you must be so proud. I'm proud. I'm not even from Serbia. But that, that was powerful. Wow. Serbia's not coming to play. They're coming to win uh, as well. And they're doing it in their own language, with their own style, and with a song I think about love and about hope. Um, I mean, whew. wow, Serbia, I, thank you. That's all I can say for sending this to Eurovision. Thank you. Thank you.